Okay, in this example, we are going to look at uh, creating a countdown timer for our game. So just to show you what we've got so far, um, our game is quite basic. We haven't done it a tremendous amount, but we can move. Uh, we've got some enemies which are going back and forth um, and just bouncing between two sort of objects. We can shoot. We can shoot. We have set collisions up as well. There we are. We shot it as uh, so we got rid of it. Um, therefore, what we're going to do to make this a little bit more difficult, we're going to look at adding in a countdown timer to the top here um, so that we can give the player, say, 60 seconds to complete this level before um, before running out. And if it does run out, then we just restart the room. Okay, so let's look how would we do something like this. Well, the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to open my O Game Manager. Now, if you haven't got one of these, it's easy. Just right-click, create, and go to Object, and just create a new object without assigning it a sprite now this object is actually living in the top corner here look and because it hasn't got a sprite on it um, it'll just come up with a question mark i typically will always use a game manager in every level i do so that if i wanted to put things in there like countdown timers or um, something like a score or, or anything at all that doesn't necessarily just live with the player I can use uh, just another object as well so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna double click this and we're gonna add an event we're gonna go to create and then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna create a new variable and I'm just gonna call this um, countdown okay I'm gonna set it a value of 60 because we're gonna have it as 60 seconds Therefore, you know, there shouldn't be anything uh, to worry about with that one. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is um, we are going to use something called an alarm. And um, we've used alarms in the past with different tutorials, but just to remind you, an alarm can be set at a specific time um, just to sort of count down or it can trigger an event. So, for example, you can have an alarm triggering every 20 seconds, you can have an alarm triggering every two seconds. And uh, so, as an example, in the past, I've used alarms for making enemies coming into the game or making something randomly fire at you at set intervals. So what we're going to do is we're going to just drag this alarm option here, which got set uh, alarm countdown. I can drag that in here and we're going to be using alarm zero because we haven't got anything set up and we're going to start the countdown after 60. Now, this is uh, the frames in a room. So in uh, de by default, in the newest version of Game Maker, your games will always run at 60 frames. What that basically means is you are going to be running um, 60 frames per second. So one of these 60s means one second. So what we're going to do then is we're going to go add event and let's go to alarm, alarm zero. And then what we can do is we can start assign in a variable so we can say countdown because this is the variable and I'm going to say the value is going to be minus one relative so what that does is it takes one off the value of countdown and then what I'm going to do is just reset that alarm then to countdown now what's going to happen is this will essentially just work and it'll just keep on going down 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 and we haven't got a way of stopping it at the moment. Now, to actually see what this looks like on our um, design, what we need to do is add in a draw event, and we're going to go to Draw GUI. And I'm going to look then down here into the brown values here, and I'm going to click on this one here, which says Draw Value. And where it's got caption, I'm going to replace this. We're going to say uh, Time Left, and we're going to then just use the variable Countdown. Okay, now you can position it wherever you want. So I'm going to say 10, 10. So this is going to be in the top uh, left-hand corner. And if I just play this now at the moment, just to show you what it's going to do. There you are, time left. And you can see it's automatically now counting down. So as the game is running, it's counting down beautifully, exactly as we want. Now, we can make this a little bit bigger. And we're going to do that now. So if we look at our fonts on the top here i've already got a font here for font score but i'm going to just create another one so right click create go down to font and we're going to call this uh, font timer or f timer and we're going to choose a font i'm going to stick with the area because it's quite nice and let's go quite large let's go 22 
and regular, let's call it bold. Now, in order to put that in, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag in this set font and just put this on the top and make sure I check the right font. There you are, timer. And now when I play my game, there you are, time left, 60. One thing that's really bugging me, which I should have done, is I should have said time left and put a call on there. there you are, let's just test that. Excellent, lovely. Now, if you wanted to change the color of this at all, you can then use the option here, look, set draw color. So if I change that from a white, uh, let's say for example, I'm just gonna go with black now just to show you. So what will happen is it's now gonna draw using this font, using that color, and we'll be looking at this, there you are. So you can see that's there, black, but in fact, the white, I think, does look good. So let's just get rid of that one. Okay, so so far our game has it starts with a value of 60 in the countdown and it's just going to count down and down and down. Now, just to show you, I'm just going to change this from 60 just to 10, just to show you what's going to happen after 10 seconds. So you can see it's got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, and here we go. Just watch what's going to happen now with this. Okay, so what's happened now is it's gone into negative numbers. Well, the, it will, because essentially we've programmed it to just keep on counting down regardless of what's happening. Therefore, we need now to put a mechanism in place, like a check to see, well, hang on, what's happening? So what happens when we hit zero? So in order to do that, what we're going to do is you're going to add in a step event. So I'm going to click on add event and we're going to go down to step and then I'm gonna click on step here. Now a step event runs every frame of, the, uh, frame of the game. So it's gonna run 60 times a second. So what we need to do is we need to run an if variable. So I drag in my if here, and what we're gonna do is change this to countdown. So I'm gonna say, if the countdown is equal to zero, well, that means we're out of time. So let's say uh, once out is down to zero, what we wanna do is we wanna restart the room so I'm gonna search for the restart option. And you'll notice I got two towards the bottom here. I got restart room or restart game. The difference is this, the restart game will reset the entire game. So let's say for example, you're three levels in and you use this reset. It means you'll go back to the first level. Whereas with, this, with the restart room, if you're three levels in, uh, it means you'll only then have to redo that level. So I'm gonna just use that one there, restart room. Okay, so let's just see now what that's done. If we play, Okay, so you can see 10, 9. Now, I'm just going to move over here a little bit so you can kind of see you know, something's happened. So I'm over here. Now, look, 3 to 1. And there you are. Look, I've gone back over there to here. Why? Well, I'm out of time. Okay, now you can set this time variable to pretty much anything you want. So, you know, 60 seconds to do a level might be enough time. Uh, it might be the case you need more time than that. So you may need to go up to, say, 120 seconds or whatever but it is totally up to you what you do and it's totally up to you how you actually um, implement that now another option you could do is you could use a health bar instead so you could have a, instead of being a health bar you can just have a countdown timer bar where it'll automatically sort of reduce um, and if you want to see a tutorial that I have got one somewhere else on uh, the channel and someone else on the website so essentially for this you can see it works quite well we've now set up a countdown timer and that's pretty much it that's how you would make a really simple countdown timer